just leave it just leave it aya si nilikuwa nimeka ile nini ya current container so i got a good deal watu wakakuja wakasema they wanna rent out the container i called him nikamwambia yeye nini nini and all this time he sees everything because he has access to the uh, cctv camera so he sees everything nikamwambia yeye nimepata watu wanataka kunini vitu hivyo na nikampigia nikamwambia eh, now tumemalizana they want kuna venye watakatakata hiyo container because whatever wanataka kuweka eh, they need to cut anaona kila kitu mimi everything when it comes to business lazima niweke in writing so i called my lawyer nikamwambia tutengenezea an agreement nimepatia watu 2 years akaandika na akasainiwa nikampigia of course ashikagi simu yangu so hapo kwa signature yake nikaandika jina yake na nika na kwa hiyo agreement imeandikwa viswi and the guy's name sisi ndio tenants hakuna mali nimeandika jina yangu peke yake aya nikawarentisha that is what was in october tukakuwa tunaongea mpaka kuna some video calls na mwambia eh hey, but sai unaona since our watu wa rent ni wanaume i feel like you also need to talk to them man to man because si kila time nafa kwa naongea nao wanaume ya magoman oh eh kumbe ame jam ju nime nime, nime rentisha yote but then again ako like okay so let me talk to them nini nini kakuwa hivyo Uh, December to limit na chep around November wakakuja dikawash tukaongea all this time i'm going to shit no one knew anything acha chep yeah. dino niko hapo kwanza kuna time last year nilikuwa nasema venye mimi my guys at the scene nini nini i used to protect him so after that akaongea ati hata akaongea dina kina chep ni nini tukicheka peka hapo juu hiyo siku ilikuwa nikaka local so that yeah. local nilikuwa so nice kwa sababu yani ili kwa imeja na kumbuka siku mbaka kanipigia tukicheka na sema we kumbe hiyo place ilikuwa irudi kwa hivyo nikamwambia so deep down nika alirudi akona ameblanda because ile kitu niliona ndio watu wamekuja kuifanya mm. but sasa nika na regret aya ikafika mahali na shindwa um nikimpigia simu na mwambia eh hey, i need this and this and this anambia we si nilikuwa chio make decisions ji sort na hizo vitu na nyamaza until one day nikamuuliza nikamwambia i need money to do stuff akaniambia don't miss my day and that was in january around 20 something and that was the day i blocked him na nikachenge the story za cctv aya sasa venye nili change one day i see his sister me change profile picture whatsapp nikampigia nikam ile kutaka kujua ile ile you know Julia mtu hali she didn't tell me shit kumbe they used to have their grandpa in the US alikuwa amefika 100 years na alikuwa amedai no one had told me shit the mom also had stopped talking to me nikasema okay fine mimi sijui kujipendekeza so kumbe the grandpa when he pass february wamekuja kenya kukuja kenya um no i think i ali ali kama around feb ali dai around feb huko mamchomisho so wakaletwa huyo grandpa akaletwa because alikuwa amefika 100 years ilikuwa ni kama a celebration so amekuja Kenya wamefanya hiyo celebration ya burial after that wameenda ma club na nakumkata nikiongea na chef nikamwambia mimi nashukuru nikaa mkisia kwa area then kuangalia hivi profile nini sister yake mdogo anakuwa very active on instagram so kuangalia hivi uh, instagram na una sister yake ame ame upload some IG stories watu wako Kenya wako Dunda na una mse wangu ndo huyu ako na mdema hapo the whole family so mimi nikajua Ken uh, can you mute hiyo echo na ni irritate no toa hiyo mtu aeko toa mtu aeko saitani so niko hapo na na una mpaka watu wako Dunda and everything nikapigia chef nikamwambia chef you know what twende rege twende rege Tuendelege. Chapa na ndio na sudere. Aluta, aluta, aluta continue. Mtu alipeleka rege mwezi mzima. Mwezi mzima nilikuwa nenda rege karibu kila siku. Haya. Kukaka kidogo na unatena wameupdate sasa hii wako chanzu holiday na waona naona mse wangu hapo na unajaye ushuka so sasa hii ameshika ameshika mosodo. Okay. Haya. Sasa tunapiga rege yetu for light. For light. Nikiona rege. Baka baka chepa na niambia 
Visi si umpigie na mwambia ah sitampigia si yako area tanatafuta haya tunapiga luta zetu na luta zangu zinakuanga very polite twende tupige reggae tuchane mimi hata ukinikatia waste of time because as long as i know mimi bado i'm still in a very committed relationship haya so after hizo zote one of uh, the family members i can't disclose because again you just might not know who's listening akani call akanambia visu ni aje mbona ulinyamaza hivyo jumili fikamali i blocked the whole family but saka nipigia na namba ingine kama mbona ulinyamaza hivyo ni nini nikamwambia ah mimi i'm just doing me oh okay be us we got so surprised because there's another woman in the picture and hata wamefanywa ka introduction huko and she's kissing ni nini nikamwambia wait what akani tumia pictures mi kutumia hizo pictures of course nikatumia chep Chapa mishtuka huko kwote amesweat matako huko jasho jebamba zilinatiririka nikatumia huo chali ndule nikatumia huo chali na nikamwambia hongera na nikapiga makofi nikapigia chef mtu wangu uko wapi rege nipenda rege tuko hapo mimi napiga rege nimenyamaza napiga all the things i did all the time i wasted i wasted my fucking career nimewaka kwa kampuni 10 years nime resign nimefanya nini nimefanya nini haya eh okay hiyo yote sijaambia gaidi nilimwambia ongera na nikam block haya after like a few days the guy calls me with his safaricom line kenyan line he's like hey what's up i'm like hey what's up how are you doing you're good yeah you want to play alone oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah the guy the guy akanambia kokaos mimi nikatoka nikaenda kaos kwenda kaos ako hapo yeye with the cousin and the uncle ule uncle alikujanga ku kuangalia mara ya kwanza aya juni mzee mzee so akaingia kazi na wakaingia kwa ofisi um yeah yeah and the can call the cousin alikuwa nje cuz remember we don't even speak with the cousin kuingia kwa like uh, house business nikamwambia iko tu nini nini of course the the nini bado ilikuwa ina in function in operate hawa uh, tuwa ba then i call like i now want my business back i'm like wait Ma- what nikamwambia do you have a clue how you've wasted my life you've wasted my life 90% 10% is this that I know so what are you trying to tell me oh how much is your worth that's what he asked me nikamza what what did, what did you just ask me nikamwambia first of all you may miss my life i don't even want to know what happened akatoka so kutoka mimi na mimi nikatoka nikaenda kwa hao um Then your your time I think I wasn't around so um he went back to the uh, car wash again he met my friends eh tulikuwa na wewe hiyo time akienda kwa car wash eh tukaenda akaenda car wash tukamona kwa camera na chef akaanza kuongea nao kumbe anaenda kuongea nao anaambia my tenants ati he wants this we out ameanza hadi kuuliza my tenants kama one anaweza warentisha the whole premises the car wash together with the container and everything all this time yeah. i'm not aware so unajua mali ilifika juu one of my tenant is a white guy eh hey, akamwambia mali imefika si tunajua viswi viswi ndio alituleta hapa na yeye ndio tumefanya wewe tumekuja kukujua of course tumeona jina yako but wenye unataka tuna issue hata kurent the whole premises but first you need to sort out your personal issues hello ndio tuingililie na akamwambia visi si mdem jinga cuz ali involve a lawyer na ini written agreement so i think first some sort issues then then after that ni nini so nafikiria akaona yeye hapana ah watu ni kama wa side na mimi akatuma the first demand letter eh yeah, they need to vacate with immediate effect nikamwambia watu fanyeni kazi security yenu ni eh, agreement ya 2 years niliwapatia He sent another demand letter. It can be the same thing I'm telling you. Aya, cuz they had exchanged numbers. So akaanzanga nikana chokoro huo mzungu akili. Sasa hiyo ni time acha rudi back. And so akamwambia don't pay this we you now need to be paying me. Oh kidogo kidogo nini? Wacha mzungu acha niletea kichwa ngumu anilipi for 2 months. 
nimeenda huko mpaka business tribunal nimeenda wapi nimeenda wapi nikarudi nika relax kiboko yao iliwapata anyways wakanilipa pesa yangu aya tukarudi tukakuwa ni kama tuko sawa but wako nao ndo wata lose the tenants so we had a meeting ni nini eh huo mzungu akasema eh by the way hataki kuingilia hizo juu kama mfika mali ex anampigia anga simu wanaongea nikamba huo mzungu you know this guy is my enemy na wewe unaongea na yeye so that means you you are my enemy as well na kitu yote kini hapenia wewe ujue wewe ndio number one suspect eh akasema yeye amejitoa ni nini so the moment ali stop ku engage na huu E, mzungu mkisi ni nani and just to niwarudishe back niliwarentisha october but july this year tukatumia barua twende kotini so hiyo barua ilikuwa ime read e, those people need to vacate with immediate effect but nilipa barua yangu akapa barua yao but since imesema kotini hao hakushikanisha au kusoma hiyo barua so i was so stressed up huo mzungu akasema you know what wacha nikupeleke nikupe moral support tukiwa kwa gari nikamwambia we unajua kwanza hii barua imesema nini inasema nyinyi mtoke mm. mzungu alikuwa amejaa maji akasema what do you mean na huyu mtu alikuja akatoa approach na yeye mwenyewe alituambia kuna kitu ita change why is it wana fuck us up na tume invest hapa ni nini nini bla 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 nikamwambia so tukaenda kotini that was like the mention ni nini nini tukaambiwa of course tuka tuka, tuka, tuka object so tukaambiwa we have 14 days to reply ni nini ni. and that's why i mwezi 26 tunaenda hearing now one thing we noticed is ndio jo uchali ni malicious hiyo barua tumepewa kuna some missing pages so si container peke kuna some missing pages so my question is mimi kama viswi ni kungoje university ya life yangu university time yangu nimeinuai nimegrow your business from the kanjo to the police to the mca to everyone because where the business is iko kwa barabara so kila mtu anajua your place ni inue nifanye nini pressure za kanjo kila kitu alafu unakuja kunifuck up na bado unataka kunipeleka kotini alafu amelipa kitu kingine inaitwa emergency something ndio hiyo kitu yarakishwe ndio ni lose kila kitu alafu mniambie bado mapenzi ni tamu na umeza umtani sahihi ndio nimekuwa nikirun mimi ndio nimekuwa nikirun hata saa hii mimi ndio nimekuwa kitu yote ki happen hapo viswi hata tukiwa na chepa na twende dunda ndapigwa hata saa tisa za usiku ndapigwa nini sabuni imeisha toke nimeisha kanjo amekuja what not so you are the director Oh na kuna mahali siku sema kevu amenikumbusha. Wacha mama yake pia aliniroba na masuruari hapo. Akatumana masuruari kabla ya wake akuja ti eh baba unajua haiti kuna habs utakuwa unakunywa ikusavishe tumbo ndio ukipata mtoto upate haraka alafu nitakutumia hapo masuruari zile baba ukivaa hakuna mtu atakuroga atakuangalia machomba. Aya. Kumbe hivyo ndio nimefungwa. Shosho alituma acha niseme hii pata ile vitu ya seli. Shosho alituma panti zilitwe na mamisi shamba. Zikaletwa na huyo kazi huyo mwenye whatever. Mwenye waongelesha nini? Kwa nani? Na wiki sisi ukatimia hizo panti. Imagine vitu alitumia hapa innocent gang. Mwisho wa kodi unafaa kuombewa vitu hivi. The African way. Shamba, I wish vitu yangekuwa na hizo rekia hiyo picha jua yaitwa pia tufikishe visi kwa maombi baba katika jina la Yesu we Yesu mgani Yesu black ama Yesu white <laughs> and then unamalizie mm-hmm. huyo mki huyo kazini yake ndo alitumwalete hizo fans alafu joy story tuli kuna time tulijikuta sasa imekuja kwa live ya bishi yetu huyo kazini yake alikuja akaanza kusema visi anasema si huko sio kujikuta sio kujikuta che Al, mm. Mimi nilikuwa kwa hiyo live ya tatu kulikuwa na mabaya wawili wa baba wawili alikuwa anatukana na hapo so mimi venye niliingia hivi live tatu akaniita akaniambia guy visi ebu panda mimi bu nisaidia watu nikaongelesha fiti wakacha kutukanana then mm. mmoja akasema unajua si wakisi tunakuanga na hasira nyingine tunatukanana lakini tunadu tunasikizana i just said eh hey, wakisi na waogopa unajua mmenipeleka kotini kumbe kazini yake yako kwa comment section uongo huu sana ni muongo ni muongo na ni mizi ni mwizi huyo mtu ni mwizi 
akapandishwa na kwambia hiyo siku hiyo live ilikuwa hivi huyo mkisi visual tombe huyo mkisi ndo alitumwa kuleta hizo panty na miti shamba akaziletea kwa car wash kwa hiyo live ali deny akasema amuleta hiyo yote kama hiyo visual ambao ufanye nini na hizo mameti shamba niambo uzi ah hizo simshaenda mimi kwa nini afuta mimi mjinga nisaenda nikatibiwa hizo vitu hizo vitu ilikuwa hizo mavitu unachemsha unakunywa alafu ati hizo hiyo residue unaiweka chini ya bed kikauka unaenda unatupa mahali watu awakanyagi na siji kwa nini was so stupid i didn't even realize mapenzi kizunguzungu kwa hivyo mavitu vitu sasa venye eh nilisema hata my mom didn't know dola dola sisi tuna story dola tuna story hebu yangu yangu ni yangu ni sosa zetu za jaba yangu ni sosa story yangu ni sosa ya kufagiliwa keja yangu ni sosa wewe hebu zoza eh vitu hebu zoza guy Hizi vitu zote ziki happen mimi na visa tulikuwa tunaambia na tulikuwa hapo kujenga pa live tunapiga mm. story na watu watu hawajui kitu sasa watu walijua hiyo story vizuri uh, about it's like a month ago vitu tukipiga story kwa live ya tatu si ndio about roughly a month ago ndio watu walipenda out hiyo story wanasema yani kitu ilikuwa ina happen hiyo time kwenye mkwanga ya kuja live ambia eh mm. mm. ina happen na kuambia sasa hiyo nimevaa eh dola dola biswi history ya konta ipiga hizi ma stories zenyewe tazipiga lakini ina very different persona persona na ujo hiyo time hadi na kibaduari kwa sababu mimi mimi eh wale mko hapa mfollow nini mfollow kwa youtube aki hizi stories zenyewe mtamu kwa baba yangu eh nasema i was saying i was saying mimi me i'm thick we are two thick girls mimi na chef we are very thick so sa mimi na tunaona 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 mimi na banga katakundu lakini hiyo siku hata when my ex alikuwa kuja na anaona nikivaa mothers union analiliza total what are this namwambia hizi vitu nimetumiwa na nyanya yako nivaa what the fuck say anything hata yapo so, kitu na kitu tulikuwa tumefungwa pamoja so later on wana kuja ku find out nilikuwa nimefungwa sikuwa nipate watoto juu hizo mabids zilikuwa kwa ngo that they symbolize watoto so nisiwepata mtoto mmoja wa mbili ama watatu ama whatever in my life oh na mimi nasema at least when you were visit uh, ulikuwa usharogewa kitu before mapanti mapanti zilitumwa before twende kisi kwa sababu si unajua tulenda kisi jo introduction yangu saa mapanti zilitumwa before ex afike Kenya lakini mimi nina mimi silienda na nikajo kweli nini nini so um that's how I was saying before you engage wewe kama unajua umetoka huko kwenyu kimila wende ufungwe juu uwezi jua ni pepo gani una meet nayo kama nyinyi wa Kristo ndio uombewe ufungwe just have a protection because huko nje tunaweza kuwa unaweza fall love with someone innocently but the family ndio amebeba nini endo chaji endo endo angaliwe endo uombewe na wazaa yeye aliombewa aliombewa alienda endo zile vitu So sai ah zio hata siko nazo hata ziko karibu na mimi anywhere but what i'm trying to say is hizo vitu zote nimepitia na bado mtu ananipeleka kotini yani unani frustrate unataka ni ku beg what am i begging for check so tu tete ke hivyo ke hivyo anasema kuna story pia tamu hapa mpapi kwa hapa kwa hapo ke hivyo sai basi watu ni mengi sio ni ke hivyo mimi kuna u Kevin hapa Kevin bado kwa na stress ya vitu hai Kevin okay, request huyo mtu alafu unajua yeye kitu inanibona huyo mkisi vitu ni haonge ananyamaza tu makazi nzo wake ndio wanamjia na nikuulize vitu hii video ujue huko kazi yake ni mtoksi kuna kumbuka hiyo siku akisema ati akaanza kuambiwa na wewe unaongea kama nani why is it that you know a lot about uh, this relationship than even mtu anayekuwa na mdet ashaanza kusema eh hapana hapana huyu kazi yangu ako very busy hata ajui tiktok aya nikiweka picha hapa kuonyesha na venye tulikuwa ako ah hata mimi niko na picha zake sahii anakaa vizuri sana kidogo kidogo si alirudi akamcall via whatsapp 
Chali huko ako Halo Halo, Halo? Ati alafu chali mwenyewe ndio mzee ni toxic huyu kazini yake ya kolega. Ah huyu anakuangelelea vibaya. Anaulizwa ameongelea vibaya aje. Na ni wewe ndio umeanza hizi vitu. Unajua huyo mtu aliletwa hadi kwa mzee wake. Ilikuwa noma hiyo live. Aliletwa hadi kwa live. Eh. Shetani mimi si. Nayo ngombe bado niongea. Waliongea. Wakasema venye visu ni muongo. Hizo vitu ni uongo. Ati yao ni watu wa kanisa. Mm, tupatane kotini. Hivyo ndio alikuwa anasema. Na kepo au ulikuwa like au 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 did you react? Waki, wakisema visu ni mkora ni nini? Nilikuwa na tusi watu kwa hiyo live I wish ungekuwa. Hadi <laughs> walikuwa tu na mimi. <laughs> Just to add on that point. Unaona huyo kazini yake ndio yule alikuwa ni shirongai. Na kumkata hata mtu kibai container. Bado akoleka hapa na acha niongee na kazini yangu. Unajua nafaa kwenda UK, nafaa anitumie 250,000. Do you know say as we speak? Huyo kazini yake ananichokora hivi na ako UK. Uyo uyo chizi alienda UK ali manage kwenda UK. Oh, baada ya tani na mimi. Baka watu wanauliza kwa nini ndio alikuwa ananitaka. Anaingia kwa live kama ako huko UK sasa anatuonyesha venye ako UK. Mm. Akicheka visa kasi. UK ni nini? UK ni nini? Baka nisema tivani wewe ni mchinga ndio unaacha kazi juu ya mwanaume. Kule kwa speak. Uyo mtu alikuwa anaongea vibaya na vya viswi. Sasa uliacha kazi juu ya mwanaume sasa tufanye nini? Wewe ni mchinga sana. Wewe wewe we. ah, alikuwa anaongea shit. Hiyo live ilikuwa tu fujo. Ilikuwa fujo. Wewe. Mimi karma is Na my mama hata alikuja. Anzisha live mpaka my mama ka clarify. It was that because my mom was like you know I've had enough. Had enough. Wamekuchokora na baadhi. Eh? Was strong, you are strong. No, let me say something. Let, let, let me say something this week. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah. 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 I think you know Sezi point imefika. Yeah, those are my like uh, these are distant relatives so um actually the, the, the first time I think I visually kwa mention this story. I think I mentioning the Patrick uh, who's like a nephew mwenye after the burial aliungwa aliungwanga kwa hao in Maryland. Mm. So your story is strong kila mtu. And uh ata yoni ni mazishi ya kisi we were supposed to go there but we <coughs> apparently we never made it there. Na I was against uh going to going back to Kisi. Uh cuz uh, you never know. Uh these things maybe they they do happen. They happen. Um, so this way you just take heart. Uh unajua pia mimi so easy you know what's going on. Yeah, 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 it's it's fucking crazy. Mm. Uh, and uh me and Lisumbua my mom sana. They never wanted my mom to get married to my dad. Uh mm. yes, yeah, so yeah, if a point they they've actually killed my dad. So, yeah. Uh, even right now we don't know the body. Did I did I brain I may pass like not long mm. ago. Same shit yeah. was here. Same. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. And you know, the, the, the moment I knew my dad was going to Kisi, I mm -hmm. uh, something was going to happen. And I told him my mom like, um, I think one and a half months ago. I told him, I observe it was in Endelea. Mm. Uh, I suspect that Mimi and my dad will be in danger. I miss Kwangi, Mimi in Kisi, but uh, I've spent a very short time in Kisi. Uh, mm. Part of our lives will really grow up to Steto, me and my brother. Then we came mm. back when uh, my mom and dad were in Kosana. So this has been an ongoing issue. 
So I, I always tell VC that uh, probably Uchaliaki, he does not know Nini and Alea. Because mm. my dad alikuanga the same. And um, unezapata Ezra, out of excitement, alienda kambia watu wake, hey, unajua we are going to get married at the AG's office. That is when the trouble started. Yeah. Then when somebody had a hint of what is going to happen, happened your she daily and because even my, mm. my mom was lucky they got married, uh, she got married to my dad because one of my uncles Zakwanga around that time, he had uh, traveled to the States. So actually mm. that's, in the, even though the only, only th that was the only reason why the, that marriage actually happened. Mm. So these people actually, Kuna Familia Zikoivo, they are, uh, you know, it's crazy. It's and uh, you know, what do you mean? No, no, not as you are see what you see. These things are everywhere, man. Mm. You know, some families are like that. See what you see, what are evil. But what you see, you know, I mean, particularly, I'm not going to see because even some of them uh, want to talk their own homeland when they're places in Guinea. If you see, like Kamuru, Joskar, why what you saw me, Jauko, because of what happened yeah, back to their places, yeah, mm. because we know. Because you know, like uh, last year, this year I was supposed to like uh, build a house in Kisi. So my, my dad had come propose we build like a four bedroom mansion. Many come be that thing to kifanya ivo. That's like putting a target on our backs. Akwa na siya lafu na zani ulem sepia aki kunyonga pombe. He gets excited. Lafu na zanga kumbiato plans zaki. And that's why we say you should never tell people your plans. Because Juangiata, your sister, your brother, what they are planning mm -hmm. behind your back. True. So anyway, Paul Levisui, you know, is this story is a koti, pia mean mekwanga koti, gita kuja tu ishe. There's no way like uh, God and as a kubali, you go through something like that. Uh, na mm -hmm. kwa hapo. Because Brian, so, so, you, you felt like crazy. you felt like you knew your dad is going to pass. Nilijua, like, I, I, I knew it, like, there's a text. Ani kwa ata kwanisha visu ijana, like, um, there's a time I had an issue. Then, uh, yu issue kaisha, like, after nimalize two issue, issue, I was not even in terms with my mom. Nilim texting ni kamambia ni aje. But then I think me and my dad, we are in, uh, we, are, we, we are in danger. And at that time, I didn't know where my dad was. I thought he was in hospital, but alikuwa me future future. Mm. So later on, they were compelled. This is somebody who was in America for 55 years. He's somebody who has a anywhere, and he's somebody who had a lot of allergies. So this is somebody angry and there's a lot of shit on the company, apparently. This is what we're, we're, we are finding out right now. So it's, yeah, it's fucked up, you know. Fucked up. So whatever VC is say, saying, you're uh, going to resonate with me, son. Yeah. Na ni coincidence uh -huh. like Uncle Brian alikuwa anakujanga tu lives zetu we didn't know like mm -hmm. anajua na na uh, ex wa yeah. vitu so that pure coincidence guys are uh, too mm -hmm. like uta ikai ikai real imagine so my phone fake is asa na ma fake you go fake you go up now, now I see why most kisses are not building in their homes. When I talk Kainja, they're going buying properties elsewhere. Yeah. yeah. And when they go elsewhere, they when you're a talker, they as in wanna. Hi, good morning, everyone. They prosper. Sorry, I'm in a meeting. <laughs> Someone the moment you go back home, you see, the moment you go back home, they will get you. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why at uh, in in um, e uh, funeral ya nani um grandpa Ezra, I never mm -hmm. went, I never wanted to go there, but my dad kept on insisting. I kwa insist. For some reason, the car broke down. Gari mm -hmm. tulifika just outside Nairobi. Gari mm -hmm. kakata kuenda kabisa. Yeah. But you ni mungu. I'll be home to that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah.
So th mm. those places, mm. Roger, even when you travel, mm. even when you travel, you don't tell these people you're traveling. Yeah. Because you never know. You mm. never know what they're planning. Since yeah. yeah. I was a kid, me and Bianca. Me, I've always been told, uh, like, easy stories to use a kukula kwa watu. Me, I, like, my relatives, you're not close to my relatives. We just say hi, 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 that's, that's it. To keep a tana, wacha to patane kwa matanga, that's it. Up on the story in Asia. Because, me, me, nilitoka, like, I was in uh, the States. Nilitoka uko 2017. And I came back to mm -hmm. Kenya. Now my story in the same navy so mean ilikuja because of a uh, jua dem. Mwana mm. afa kumari pia mimi nika nikafanya ile kiru. So that was a long time ago you will issue. Ah nilifanya ile kiru bana. Eh ni nilitoka tu kwangu na ngoza mbili. Mm. Shati mbili mm. na trao na unasonga and you forget about everything. Yeah so me I was in the type of uh, sijui cause nili Siju mm. cause nili kutumianga pesa cause uh, we have we have a company together and tanza kusumbwa no 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 me I just decided eh hey, kama mifika hapa and you know my ex was a uh, military police mimi mm. nilitwanga military police bana mm. so ni kona eh hey, manze tumefikisha na hapa ni kona tu eh hey, there's there's no need of uh, going on with shit but, uh, let me just leave mm -hmm. so these people uh, man they, these people are just, some people are just evil. You don't know, uh, most of them need these church going people. Mm -hmm. You never know. Uh, yeah, mchana ni umza wa kanisa, lakini usiku, auji ni nini wanafanyanga. Ghostbusters. And uh, the funny thing is, our, our parents, the older generation, actually knows about it. Sisi, mm -hmm. the younger generation, we don't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. too, you just unambi, unapati onga hints, unambi, man, if you get a kissy woman, please tuambie. I love they make this excuse that maybe unajua aneza kuwa ni kazini yako. You know, us kisses are related, but I came to find out that that's not the truth. The thing is, kuna some families, and you know this is a clan thing. Kuna some families, kuna some clans, wana practicing that thing. And unajua over time, tumekuwa tukifikiria hii kitu ni anga. Like, these people are still doing that shit till, till this day. Mm. Even right now, I think you can make a QC, but I was also just chill. Don't, don't, don't try and do it. Yeah. Anko, Anko, Manze, Miss Kevin, your vision is a map. Being a QC, it's real. That thing is real. Like, like, where? Stay close to me. Let me know. Yeah. Like, this last story, this last story, this is called Queen's Mob. Ni Eric. Eric. Oh, Eric. Ah, see me, me. Eric. Last story, this is called this story, this is called Ni Mob. Like, ni miona watoto wa watoto wa kianda go problems. Kama story zako travel. Do you know even properties? Mulikuwa mna sema ati wakamba wakamba. Wakamba ni sosa. Wakamba ni sosa. Brian can tell you the junk of lands we have. Watu wako na pesa, but they hate. Watake kuanda kutengeneza ta nyumba. Because of this silly stupidity backwardness. Alafu ukioa, tuseme umeoa from outside. Tuseme sabi nyebisu ya mesema from kiambu. Manze, dem kiambu wa hizi ishikisi. Aizi ishi kisi. At least ile tribineza jaribu kuishi kisi. Out of from kisi ni mluya. Jualuya pia kuna hizo vitu. Hata wakamba. Lakini, lakini wa hizi tribineza. Mkamba naenza ishi. Lakini pia wakikuindili alafu upate, upate mwana ume mwenye understand. Chep, chep, si wakale ni yako tu. Wakale si ni yako tu ni manibas. But these tribes are not going to be able to cope. 
alafu unaona vitu zingine zenye unaona watu wengine wanachukulia kama jokes unasikia mimi niliambiwa team at hiyo hiyo at lipstick unajua wanaongea kama joke lakini hawajua wanamaanisha nini kwa life ya mtu wanaweza sema makucha amewa makucha huyu anata kwanza hakuna kitu mbaya kama kwa wanaume yani like not not marry someone mwenye ni breadwinner wewe utakapitia that's what i was saying utakapitia alafu sasa wakiona mwanamke anajenga sasa anajenga bomba wewe huyo ni enemy wanataka anga aone mwanaume ana drug kwa nyuma kwenda nyuma kwenda nyuma Yeah, a very bad thing. It's a very bad thing. I've seen I've seen I'm going to be divorced at age of 50s. Mabibi wanaenda tu na mali mingi kwa sababu tu yeye ujinga hawataki hata ona ring. Ati wanasema huyu ana ring, nini anti warrior. Hiyo gari yake hata tutai panda. Yaani una kubandika majina kadhaa. So that's why that's why a man you just ata venye na Brian Sema even traveling traveling to another country foreign nation you just keep quiet. Mm. Yeah. The moment unaanza kuonyesha okay. lifestyle ukiona ukiona ukipost video kama umeelewa wewe ni fan wanakupenda hivyo. Lakini anza kupost hapo okay, drive. Eh. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 Chenye kina kungoja ni Mungu tu. Alafu history ya pombe. Hii ya pombe inakonga serious sana. Hiyo pombe wana pombe to like get into it with the Hiyo pombe they, they do something to it. You just become stupid. You just become helpless. Stupid. Kwanza pombe ukipata lakini aha. Brian let me tell you one thing kama unatoka in our background usiwahi kunywa na relative wako don't ever just go drink with people you don't know come home the moment unaanza kunywa na makazin zako nini nini wewe umekuwa gasia wewe unaona unaona lakini hauoni what i have a cousin yes. I have a cousin whom say he he got deported a while back it's me is in like 20 years he got deported from the state of Karudi Kenya so like really of course ikshaku was deported of course utakuwa utakuwa depressed and all that so eventually aka cancel yangu then na akakuja Karudi poa akaingia uni akamaliza uni he got a good job in Eldoret akaoa Then he did a mistake akaenda kisi. Akaanza kukunywa changa ya kisi. You know that guy right now he's crazy. Ule mse ukimwangalia unampata tu manzia na ukota makaratasi amebeba vitu hata zielewi mamisokoto. Like mm-hmm. uh, Brian, I had a friend of mine who in the same campus from from to kisi to some na high school same campus this guy was so aggressive from a very good background jamaka kuja nairobi got a good job uh i think in our circle he was the first guy to drive alafu kapata job kisi university this guy went to kisi akaanza kunywa changa mchezo mchezo akaoa ndio mchezo mchezo ndio this guy alianguka tu kwa nyumba pu akakufa Pombe tu mm-hmm. mchezo mchezo tu pombe wewe pombe pombe na kisi sawa yeah, fa kisi wa kisi ni pro max kama sema wakaamba mimi i'm coming from i'm coming from my mom my mom was, my mom, my late mom was a luo of married to akamba na kuambia <laughs> lakini kisi miaka ukambani walitukataa walitukataa kabisa but i forced i forced myself to be been to court for like 10 years with my uncle after my dad passed away for 10 years tumekuwa kotini at the end of it me i let go eventually uh, wazee wa kijiji walisema you have to give them a share of the land Uh, he, 
imagine from a 20 acre land I was given around 1.5 acres December could uh, my, this chamber has to go back to my because it was an inheritance they gave to my dad Hello. it has to go back to, to our grandmother then it get to be subdivided I ended up getting one acre 1.5 acres of that land Nimwambia hiyo you either give us so you keep it for yourself. I never mention guys eh usiwahi sema bali bali mnafanya kazi mnati. Nyumbani. I have a step brother. I have a step brother of mine. But yeah mpaka wa leo hajui mali niko. Hajui. We talk. Still things I'm I I I mean I mean the Gulf but see jawai mwabia even my wife ah ah kwa kuja kwangu hapana wakapo wanakutaga mchanga kwa 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 mlango kwa mlango ya kwako okay sawa let me check hiyo kwa hiyo mkeka hiyo doma akichukua mchanga hapo we Ngoja <laughs> 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 Aki, ebu ebu akuja tu ambi, sijui ni ushuki. Mila na na cheka mimi ni joke na mimi ni mbele. Mungu na jokes mingi. Mi na skianga wakamba wakamba wakamba, but from where I come from, sijui ni skia hizo vitu. But ni ni yamu kuku macha kosi, yamu kuku mara macha mama pe. Ni ukoni ni. But where sema sasa mkisia ni amwe nipeleke kuchini. Anaona atanimaliza. Ah mimi have my people bana. Ah my people. Ah this way. Come on last year. Uh no no 2 years ago. Uh my brother lenda Missouri kufanya nini his uh, masters. So my dad mm-hmm. ali, ali patianga my mom like uh, I think more, more than ten thousand dollars. He like he reflects quite account. Mm-hmm. Do when you go to the embassy, you know, mm-hmm. these are processes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, some uh, because of these relatives, ni, 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 my mom and uh, my my dad waka, they had some issues. Waka sanaga, their issues have always been because of these relatives. Waka mm-hmm. So there's a time. Especially last year, you know, I used to hang out with my me, me, me and my dad used to be like twins, man. We used to be fucking close. We bad mm. sana. For anybody who knows me, me was so close to my dad. So there's a time I turned my uncles on a sema. Uh when I chocha my dad on a mumbia niaje, mpeleke kutini, mpeleke kwa polisi. Alafu na joa mimi, I was also supposed to be like a witness. My dad uzuri ni alikatanga yo story. Alika hivi akasema no 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 no. Akasema kama ni hivyo ah no no ni sawa achana na hiyo ni mamwachia. That's what they do because me I don't believe um uh from this story is I don't be, me is Jini nini waliambia ngoo jama. Because even me and my cousin there's another cousin of mine but he's lawyer. Um he he served in the American Navy. We 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 talk a lot. Um nilimguzia ngeo story but akaniambia nga eh okay it sounds like uh, they did the traditional thing mm-hmm. especially somebody who never used to drink amanza kukunywa mm-hmm. sana alafu they are behaving in a very very funny way alafu no unaanga wamanza kutukwa mgonjwa mgonjwa alafu inafika point ni kama na kani kama itupa network there is something there's mm-hmm. always something there and this is usually after after a major especially this we you know me me no kwambia tu Ezra the moment aliambia aliambia one of the family members that he was going to get married to you mm. that is when all of this shit hey, started pata. happening because umse kwani ame move on haraka aje atemepata another kisi lady 
mwenye probably alitafutiwa na huyo kisi lady anakujanga kujanga hapa kwa live akidhania tena eh alikuwa ameanza ku stock mpaka nikablock hiyo madafaka alianza kujanga kwa live you know even last year uh, my uncle used to call me every day you know me i know him so mimi like i just used to stack mambo mingi and I just decide to be cordial alikuwa ananipigenga kila siku ananipigia ananiambia bana eh unakaa kwa nyumba kubwa peke yako wo 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 a lot of shit wewe tafuta sijui damn nini nini anamwambia hiyo ina shida i'm working on that so ikafika nga point uh, the wife the wife tunajuanga we, we know the want yangu na kuanga tu ni mchawi cuz we can mtu mchawi utajua tu vile ana behavior you just know them So there's a time eh hey, wameni sumbua they used to disturb me wananiambia by this kutafutie demu demu mzuri mkisi wa kanisa so me I was like for what ni kama mimi mwenyewe siwezi jitafutia demu they used to do the same thing to my dad walikuwa namtafutia mademu anamtumia huko America aya but funny enough hiyo yeah. kitu hata not even alikuwa yeah aya not even once and that time me and my mom were there so like kuna shanganga una shanga hawa watu wana disrespect aje mafambi but that time I was, yeah. I was a small kid I scored a jersey my story so they they try that shit of my dad it never worked my dad don't mess with me hawa to what kila mtu amesomesha like anybody who's been to washington maryland ana anajua budango because all the kisses my, my dad is one of the first generation of kisses when you are in America in the, in the late 1960s yeah and you are kanga hata kina nini um akina e family akina kina Ezra walikuwa naishi na babangu at one point i was telling this is a while back hata hata gari ya kwanza ya baba Ezra ni budangu alimpatianga So th- these people they you know they, they are just like that it does it does not matter whether they are in Kenya ama wako 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 nini wako America yani wachawi ni kama wanakuanga na this network and they know how they do their things and you know it's something very secretive if you're not in it you will never know you know my yeah. mom alikuwa na she, she never used to tell us these things um cuz uh, yeah yeah Uh, my mom's first uh, my mom's sister ndio alikuwa the first wife of my child so last born wao wakiwa watoi sasa um i don't know what happened to but aliniguzia ngeo story kitambo when i was a kid sijui alienda nga u uni ni brother yake alienda nga kwa niba akakulishwa nini then akarudi akaambiwa bedia sisema akisema atakufa and the only person cuz my mom is in the last one the only person to tell aliambia na my mom so i can anga kambia my mom so vile aliambia my mom hata kumaliza two days she passed away so i think you keep to bedia in kufanyanga my mom akogopa so since that eh hey, since the the chapter the subject of written cynthia mimi think that is it abia za kukula kwa watu nimeanza nikiwa an adult mimi nimekuja kwenu siwezi kula siwezi kula hata ni kwenda njaje i could She not eat because that, that was a thing my mom used to tell us okay. hii story sijua kupatiana manguo uh, unaenda somewhere unapatiana vitabu zako uh, hiyo story sijua ti mtu anakuwekea passport mtu anakuwekea sijui documents zako that is how they fuck you up mm. and the alcohol they give you as well and the alcohol because i remember kwanza uh, uh, i have Brian, cousins i have uh-huh. i'll kitu pombe 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 ndio unajua kutumia vizuri pombe haki mm. pombe wanaume pombe kwanza kama wewe ni mkisi na pombe chore ya pombe kwanza i I have struggled with alcohol for the longest time I understand. You know the, the, there's a while I used to do it like uh like kila mtu anakunyonga alcohol for recreation. Mm. Then there's a time it became so fucking toxic. Like mimi ni mse nilikuwa nakunyonga kama last year there's a time ningekunywa boti mbili na siezi zima. But after that whatever happens I never used to know what used to happen. 
You never remembered. I don't remember shit. Too bad. Come out with a nini around that time. Everybody who used to be around me during that time, alikuwa na nini mbenga nini, alikuwa na mumble, a lot of shit. Ekwe neleweka. And there's an uncle of mine who actually told me before he passed away. Right, nilipata nini two days before he passed away. And I can hear the angels. You talk about your dad. You have and your dad did something. Kuna kitu, kuna kitu. You make us realize your dad never used to drink like this because he used to live with my dad back in America. But here, I could jangga ka ka hamia Kenya. So I can hear, I could just can hear. But there's something, and I'm gonna find out. Our chawi ni kina nani? Na can hear. Bianga, mimi ni taka kujani kumbi by Monday. That was on Wednesday. I met him on Thursday oh. again. This guy, you know, do, do you know he just passed away in, on Saturday? He was too, after Zbiwa Mekizo Masimu, yeah, he just passed away mysteriously. Akiwa kwa jumba peke yake. Now, up to date, to Jay Jua, who did it? But what we know is uh, when he passed away, 2 o'clock in the morning, my aunt was there. Wakichukua my documents, my title lead, everything. You know, this people ni kama like every, yeah. Every time there's a kuna kuna there's somebody loses their life, it's an opportunity for them. Hmm? I you know me and me me actually my aunt is my neighbor, so we me kujia kosa na na my aunt the other day because ni likwano na what they were doing to my cousins, because my cousins here ti buda kwa na pesa buda likwano me invest likwano do. Like ni sasa there's a cousin of mine ni likwano na manze an anafungi wa hao, ame kujia me shikwangu na muliza e. When yes. your dad passed away, because I was so close to the dad, when your dad passed away, I was so close to the dad, and he does not even know. I said, okay, who's the administrator to your dad's estate? Oh. But I said, you are uncle yet, and I said, my friend, you are finished. Yeah. Asa, once they knew that I was actually advising this guy, okay. I became public, public enemy number one. Mm. Yeah, anti yangu akanzanga tu kuniletea manoma 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 up to the other day si visi unajua ni, ni kama nilitumia anga mtu kwa nyumba mm. 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 uh, yeah, yeah, cuz one time nimetoka tu kwa nyumba for like two hours i come back i just find somebody in the house yeah. how he mm. got in i don't know then this guy nikaita of course utaita neighbors because ukiona uki, ukipata mwizi ya kwa nyumba utaita neighbors so this guy mm. ends up at here, at here, at here. He ends up, this guy, I don't know what happened to him, he passes away. Then after that... Yeah. So after that... Seriously? Me, 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 police station. Me, I'm thinking, um, I'm going to make a report. Nashikwati, I'm a suspect for murder. Yeah. And when all this was happening, my, my, my aunt, who is my neighbor, was here. The husband, who is a fucking judge, was here. And ah, uh, they did not do anything. My, my uncle is a judge. And I see you too, I see you too, I see you too. And the moment I see you too, these people are in my house. They 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 are in my house. Yeah, all that. So after, when I was getting out of uh, jail, which... I think this is by, by, by God's grace. When I was getting out of jail, men na kuja na pata watu kwa hao, na pata di wa menekia wochi hapo, na ulizo masai, hey, men, open the fucking gate. Umsai, ni uliza mi, nani wambia, we, na muza konza, we ni nani, unafaya nini hapa. So eventually, this guy opens the house, my aunt saw me, aliona ni kama she saw a dead person. Aka shtuka, so like uh, they, they, they try to like uh unajua, yeah my, my dad named Twalifanyanga Kazi, so we have a few houses in Nairobi. So my dad is named Benga, hey, this is your house, in your bangini tofanyo nini 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 that 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 that. So when my aunt saw that and my aunt used to live in this house Kitambo and she used to collect rent from this house. So the mm -hmm. fact that I actually nini nilikuja nika nika move uku, my aunt always amekwanga na something against me. So after a while, wakakuja wakanza kunitisha, wakanembe, you know, Sijui, there's some people walikuja wakasema they might burn down the house, so you have to fucking move. Eh, hata already tusha kutafutia one bedroom, 
nini 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 so just go lay low for a while then uh, when all this shit is over you come back that time is quite a mambo nikakuja nika relax for like a day the next day I mean to masjid ya fanyi kazi they were doing some construction over here my I told them there's no construction which is happening here nikafukuza wote since that day my aunt has been fucking avoiding me hata pitangi the same road na pitanga she uses the back road so these, these are the people you know this, uh, some scary. some yeah what's scary yeah so yeah, if you see you just uh, you know take it easy mm. that's what I tell you just take it easy e story taisha taisha yeah stakuombeni na itaisha yes we are got case tutaomba hapa mpaka washangae mm itaisha mm. i even told i think i told you see yesterday me no mbanga like uezra uh, one day am ke from, mm, from uh, whatever wali mpatia yeah from yeah. whatever wali mpatia mm. one manze uni dem alikuwa nampenda na he's not even supposed to do this because me i think if it was me kwani container ni how much container is like $3000 that mm. is not for a registered nurse mm. in washington you see pesa yani pesa kidogo kwake it's not a lot of money pesa kidogo sana that is money you um sana za tengeneze hiyo pesa in a week and unashanga why the relatives are so 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 inclined towards yeah. this this guy's relationship you know i i, I even told that tony guy but then he whatever you doing in your mama mm mm-hmm. in your mama and that's the same thing they've been doing to my dad yani akikuja tu hivi already ndio au kwa airport boom ndio mm. wanajonga ni kombe gani anapendanga wa shamletea then ya kumkoroga sasa I'm Koroge achanganyiki whatever he was supposed to do nothing hakuna kitu atafanya same thing they did to him Brian Brian when I was in Kenya manze alikuwa na good man but sasa ako ka kitu kile umesema ako ka kitu you see like una kunyo na wala uko sawa but eh hadi siku moja nikapigwa na wakora hata miss ju alitoka wapi hawakunibia anything nikakuwa ina coma for a whole week wakati nilia oh, yeah wakati niliamka ndio nikasema hapa sikai hey, my visa was ready my passport was ready nikatoka tu Kenya tu hivyo na life yangu parudi normal mimi have been thinking mimi have been thinking like uh, when i'm done with all these things the barrier and everything I think whatever mtu niko nazo I I might just even sell whatever I have I look for one country where najua sitapatana na watu wa nyumbani wa kisi penye wako huko I just move there and forget about everything Because you know these people will not, they will not this way that's why uh, sasa to tell this way usilaumu hiyo boy the cocoon behind it siku moja utakuja kujua I know I know we all know that I'm ekorogo and everything but at the end of the day me ndio na suffer because say ni kokotini actually pa kila kitu mpaka emergency kila kitu you know what i mean so, so i need to also uh pay my lawyer na kulipa sasa hii i'm talking about 70 g's to start the case so na tumeanza kuingia mambo ya ku spend ku spend ku spend unajua ukianza mambo ya kote ishangi sik tunaweza enda tika kwa cho ushonde na utoke so you see so bado ni mimi na ni cost yeah no ni pesa ningetumia because i remember that tony guy saying because mm. i think that they have this ideology in their head that uh, wako na pesa so they'll actually mm. use the money to frustrate you yes so for them they can actually drag this court case as long as they want Mm. We want to make sure our resources are cuz they may dry up. Um mm. me I don't know see I don't know what pleasure these people get out of that. Mhm. What do we do? Cuz that's by the end of the day I feel this event would lose by the end of the day because 
Who named Ronald Tennis and Cashier in terms of dollars? You need a pocket change. Like in a tank could drag out of the lawyer out of the nini, out of the nini. Kesi, Kesi Nimbaya, I feel that guy should. I think I'm going to say the Mongea at a Kesi Cotini, Joe. Kesi Nimbaya, Kesi Konama, Econa Pesa, Mindy expenditure, and Yako, come on, I'm totally going to play like a shoe, Harry. Like in the Kesi. That was, the same, that was the same thing in Kwanzaa, even yesterday. Like, I think if I was in a position, ningetafta wale makuzo wangu wenye tunamjua, tumambia tu manze, bro, whatever you're doing, sipo. That's, that's no good, that's no cool. Ufanyangi hivo. Because for one, hata tuseme ideally, hata visi wange mwache, ange wache yo nini, whatever, your business. Your business hakuna kitu wangefanya. Ungepata mm. hata in a few months in Manguka. So it doesn't really make sense. Yes. And it's just some crazy shit. Yani unakanga hivi, you just try and uh, think any human beings, any one is a kuwa na behave hivi. Uzo nasikia right now, even when my case, right now, I don't even know where my, my dad's body is. Imagine. Yeah. But kisi. And uh, from the Alipelekwa hospital and all that, there's a lot of shady shit which is happening. Your death notification at Jandikwa cause of death. Already to, to, we came to find out that uh, these people actually they killed him because these people are talking about him passing away one month ago. One month ago, kill him to America. I was sure that uh, my dad is going to pass away. How? What? What? Kill him to I was sure like that was the story which was going on around. Mm. Yeah, it's crazy. I even there's an uncle of mine. I'm in a pigia simu jana. You know, uzuri ni kuna good and there's bad people. The uncle of mine I'm in pigia simu jana can be a man who's kubali story. At the way they are treating your mom like trash, usikubali because you are the firstborn. When you mm. to umze, umza me said you kill mtu. And you know, if you point at it, they want to, to, to bury him in Langata. Are these people fucking crazy? Imagine. What? Imagine. Hmm. Yeah. Like this guy was so senior in Washington and Maryland. Mm. Utazika mtukoyo aji in Langata. How? Mm. Mshati ni mtu ana shamba zake. Uko na shamba yake. Na how ndio wanataka ku take charge in everything. Mhm. Mm ako na shamba yake, ako na watoto wake. Ako ako na bibi yake. And you know this this time should be very very smooth for us like when I fought party peace but actually wa mm mamwani -hmm. kama sasa they they want us to to, to give us problems mm -hmm. sasa. Asa ni kama, ni, ni kama the other day, like, nilikuwa, my mom just called me. Actually, you know, nilikuwa, nime, there's a day nilikuwa, nimekunyo, so. My, my mom, uh, sijua lijua, because I, I think I wasn't picking her phone calls. Na anajuanga, nikikunyo, I don't pick up the phone calls. Zaka kasi, kaka niyabea bana. Well, just stay sober, stay sober, because you never know, these people might actually pull up over there. And they were mm. actually planning to pull up over here. I had to go to the DCI and the chief. Notified Chief Waronga and Anyambe DCI that these people are actually coming. Uzuri, the DCI, the DCI people know me. Wakanyambe, hey, the Akuna to come here to happen. Watch our kuje. If they want to come, just let them come. Wajaribu kufanya kilo, wajaribu kufanya. My uncle already attacking my dad as equal he see because Alisha grabbing the land yake. I'm a grab six acres of my dad because I see my dad only has one feed. Which is nobody's business. Funny enough, my uncle lives in. Ni budangu ame mjenge heo nyumba. You can imagine. Ame mjenge hadi watoto wa this guy. So my dad passes away. Lafu mse hako na odasiti ya kusema ati so spirit handed over everything to me before he died. Man, is this guy crazy? Hmm. Wakisi. 
Poleni sana wadao. Poleni. These are just wicked people, man. Wicked. Actually, it's fungi live. What was it? Was sad. You changa muke changa muke. Afan, I chose fungi live sai. Afan, baby, unenda unenda break, unenda break. Muna chapa social life. Eh, chapa kuna lips mzuri. Hello. Sasa yendo social life, yendo break. Na ujeni mkipia na kuambia hivyo te. Visu, unogo, unogo, si wote wa kisi. Brayo mamu. Ni the only kisi friend I talk to ni Brayo. After 3 p.m. But it is because we have female cleaners there. No, I'm talking clear. I'm not going to live this week. Labda tuende live yako. Hapa na relax. Ni mepo hii live kutoka ngapi actually? Dakika na 11 nikimpunguza. Relax. Wewe ukimoroto kilala, mimi kama sijalala. Anyway, tuende leo just just be very careful guys. That's it. Be careful. And life, thank you for being here. I was saying you can me buy mic, but you miss out cable moja. So next life.